the freshest, tastiest radishes Mr McGregor ever grew. I don't know, Peter. Mr McGregor's grown some pretty amazing radishes and we've tasted pretty much all of them. Trust me, these are special. Mmm, <laughs> I can almost taste them. Huh? Uh, excuse me, I didn't have any breakfast. <laughs> You might want to try and keep that tummy quiet, Benjamin, or you'll wake the cat. Come on! Now that wasn't me. There it is again. Whoa, whoa, <gasps> Benjamin, the ball! Whoa! Whoops, she won't be playing with that anymore. Of all the places for a cat nap. Sorry, Tommy, no radishes today. How are we going to move that cat away from our radishes? Too bad she broke her squeaky toy. We could have used that. Squeaky? That's it! Huh? Cottontail has a squeaky toy. Just what we need to move that cat. <sighs> Got it. We'll just borrow it for a little while. I don't know about this, Peter. Cottontail loves that toy. She'll never know it was gone. Besides, do we want radishes for lunch or not? Well, when you put it like that... Enough talk. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. So you two grab the radishes while I keep the cat busy. Be careful, Peter. Yeah. Cos her claws are pretty sharp. Don't worry. That's all he prefer won't catch me. Come on! Feathers and fluff! Who is making such a racket? Almost done, Peter! Great! Ah! Let's go! Oh, Brown! You bring that back! Finders keepers! This rabbit is mine! You'll never catch me, Lily! Let me in, Fox! Shh! It's so cold out here! My fur's all frozen! What? Uh. A letter badger trails snow all over my best rug. Oh. Never. Go away, you overgrown oaf. Come on. <laughs> <gasps> I... Who's there? Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's better. We need to keep this burrow nice and warm. Ready? Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Come on out and play, Benjamin. It's snowball weather. Uh, no can do, Peter. We're on our way to the Aww. shop. I'm completely out of cogs, wheel nuts and quarter-inch springs. Unless you happen to have any. Uh, no. Sorry, Uncle Bouncer. Please, 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 can I play in the snow, Dad? Uh, oh, all right. Oh. Gosh, it's cold today. Don't stay out too long. Have fun now. <laughs> <gasps> wow! This hill is just begging to be slid down. How about we use this? And it's big enough.
enough for all three of us. Yeah! <laughs> Throwing snow at me! Tommy Brock! Quick, hide! Ugh, too cold to sleep. Oh, I can't stand snow. Oh, oh not even a flea to munch neither. Now, what I need is somewhere cozy and warm with a big bucket of oh, juicy worms to fill my tummy. Tommy Brooks grumpy today. Mr Todd wouldn't let him into his house earlier. Why would he want to go in there? To warm up, I suppose. Anyway, he's gone. Hey, let's build a snow bunny. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, hello? A chimney? Oh, now that looks warm. <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, ow! Oh, oh, oh. Hey? Oh. 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 oh, that's better. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Phew! We did it! Everyone okay? Check! Hmm, check. Okay, let's head for home. Well, look huh? my spines. You are a very nasty fox indeed. Pluck your spines is exactly what I plan to do before I eat you. <laughs> oh, dear. Help! Quick, we've got to save Mrs. Tiggerwinkle. I know. Follow me and bring those onions. Mm -hmm. Let's go! <gasps> a little rosemary and you'll be a tasty treat. With a little rabbit dessert to follow. Not today, Mr. Todd. Huh? What's that? Come on, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Oh, no, you don't. Bye bye, Scrummy Onions. I'll never forget you. <laughs> Onions. <laughs> Fabulous. Started rolling onions at that nasty Mr. Todd. Onions, I tell you. Wherever did you find them? Uh... Peter? Well... Um... It doesn't matter where they came from. You should have seen Peter. He jumped right in to help. And as quick as a fox, we were out of there. We ran so fast, I could hardly catch my breath. Well done, children. Now, how about some soothing chamomile tea after all that excitement? <gasps> oh, how lovely. <gasps> oh, my favourite. What's the matter, Peter? I don't like chamomile tea. Now, before I forget, where's that clean laundry basket I brought you? Here you go, Mrs Tiggy Winkle. Oh, thank you kindly, Lily. Yay, thank you. Thank you back. That's right, Cottontail. Your favourite blanket, all clean and fresh and... Well, pat my tummy and tickle my nose. The blanket is in here. Oh, I must have left it on the washing line at the laundry. Oh, I'm so forgetful. No blankie. <laughs> blankie! <laughs> oh, dear, I'm sorry. Perhaps I should go back and fetch it. I'll go. You, Peter? Rabbits are much faster than hedgehogs. And I don't want to drink any chamomile tea. Please, Mum. Oh, that would be very kind of you, Peter. All right. <laughs> Blanky. <laughs> there could be a storm coming. You go straight there and back, OK, Peter? Oh, uh, sure thing, Mum. Come on, let's hop to it. <laughs> <laughs> Shh.
<laughs> and that slippery fish thought he could escape us, but no! Isn't that right, Mr. Fisher? <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> oh, those were the days, Mr. Bouncer. <laughs> oh, and look, look, there we all are. Wow! Hey, that's my dad! That's right, Peter. We were quite a team back then. <sighs> oh, what was it we always used to say, Mr. Fisher? Ah, you mean life is, is one, one big, big adventure. adventure! Let's go! Dad? <gasps> 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 Oh, thank you, Benjamin. <laughs> wow, what's that? Ah, <gasps> no. Anyway, come see anyone. Wait, what was that? I promised your mother we wouldn't show you. She didn't want you getting any... <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous ideas! <laughs> no, not the <laughs> <friend. laughs> What's my dad standing next to? Ah, oh, well, you've seen it now, I suppose. That was my greatest invention, a flying machine. Wow! A flying machine? Brilliant! Did it work? Your father was the pilot for its first ever flight, Peter. But it crash-landed in Mr McGregor's garden. <gasps> what happened? Your father was magnificent, naturally. Mm. Walked away without a scratch. But that flying machine was never seen again. It's got to be here somewhere. Uh... But, Peter, if that flying machine was still here, we'd have seen it before. I know that for a fact. Mr Bouncer said my dad crash-landed it right after it flew over the wall. Somewhere around here. Nope, not here. Can we go before Mr McGregor puts us in a... <laughs> Bye. <sighs> You're right. I can't see that flying machine anywhere. Oh, well, we tried. We can't see it anywhere because it's underground. Of course, it must have sunk into the mud when it crashed. Benjamin, ready for some digging? Yeah. <coughs> We'd better hurry, Peter. Mr McGregor could come out any second. Benjamin will find it. Trust me. I found something. Oh. It's smaller than I expected. It's a potato. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? It couldn't have just disappeared. It did crash here a long time ago, Peter. It could be anywhere by now. Look on the bright side. We've still got a potato. Found by me. <laughs> just saying. Wait a second. This sign. It looks just like this part of the flying machine. Let me see. Hmm. Aha! Look over there, by the beans. Those look just like these, too. And look! That's the wing! Yes! And there's the middle pole. Yes! Great! Awesome! Um... I don't get it. Look! Mr. McGregor must have found all the parts of the flying machine after it crashed and used them around the garden. It's been here all along, right under our noses. Whoa, ha, ha. Uh, I mean, I thought that's what you meant. <laughs>